is Matt with 3G Store, and today we're going to look at an interesting ongoing issue with the Verizon 3 and 4G network. Now, there have been three to four outages actually with the Verizon 4G LTE network in the last month with users reporting some strange issues with the 3G network as well. Now, traditionally, uh, the 3G network offered a 75 dot address. Now we're getting a lot of reports of people receiving 97.97 uh, .97 addresses which can't be hit from the outside internet which affects DVRs, IP cameras, or any type of remote access. So what I have here is my Pepwave Max 700 connected to my cable connection and via Wi-Fi I'm actually connected to a Cradlepoint MVR 1400 and I'm actually experiencing the same issues now as well and as you can see I have a 97.28.186.114 address and if I go into the administrator settings you can see I have WAN pings enabled with remote web administration to port 8080 so if I go back under the dashboard <clears throat> this address with colon 8080 should be able to be hit remotely. So to simulate remote access, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. So now if I pull up my system preferences, you can see my computer is only connected via Ethernet. The MBR 1400 is sitting in my office, but it's not connected to this computer. So the only way to connect to it would be remotely. So I'm going to open another page. We're going to go to this IP address with the colon 8080. And as you can see, I'm not getting any type of connectivity. Now, this never used to be a problem with the Verizon 3G network. So if you're experiencing these issues, definitely let us know. But it's hard to say if this is occurring, if Verizon's making some type of transition. This may very well explain why the network has been going down so much if Verizon is starting to change the IP ranges or migrate 3G to private addresses that you can't access remotely. So as you can see, the page just isn't loading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi back on here. <clears throat> Now what I'm finding with the 3G devices, if you unplug and replug them into the router, uh, eventually you will get a 75 dot address. Of course for people that have these remotely in the field, that doesn't do you a lot of good because if it cycles to a 97 dot address, you're back to square one and you're not going to be able to hit it remotely. So as you can see, I can now recommunicate with the router. What I'm going to do is walk over here, we're going to unplug the modem, and hopefully get a 75 dot address this time. So the modem's plugged back in, so we'll see the status here momentarily. And let's just take a quick look under the connection manager. Okay, so there it's displaying again. Let's go back to the dashboard. Oh, we still got a 97 dot address, so let's try it again. So that was two times in a row that it gave a 97 dot address. Let's see what we get this time. It's going to redial back in. Typically takes about 10 to 15 seconds for that to refresh. Now it does look like it came up a little bit faster. Still a 97 dot address. Let's try it again. and it looks like it's connecting back up here. All right, so on our fourth attempt, we managed to get a 75 dot address. Now again, I have WAN pings enabled to ping port 8080. So what I'm gonna do is, first off, you can see the router is at 192.168.0.1. That's the default gateway of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the Wi-Fi off which is just going to leave the active connection to my cable internet. Now if I go into 192.168.0.1, you can clearly see that I can no longer access the network here. It's just hanging up, it's not responding because I'm no longer connected to it via Wi-Fi. However, 
if I enter this address, we should be able to hit the device remotely because I'm accessing it from a public IP. And as you can see, we are now remotely connecting to the CradlePoint MBR1400, which is fueled by a Verizon 3G modem. I can log back into the router. And I can access the device remotely. I can set up port forwarding configuration. Uh, if I want to set up remote IP cameras or other equipment to access remotely. But as you can see, if this is an ongoing issue or if Verizon is making an alteration to their network, this could cause some serious problems for people that rely on these devices for remote connectivity. So definitely stay tuned for updates as we investigate this further. But as of now, it looks like we can either chalk this up to a Verizon issue related with the uh, outages. Now I do want to note that I'm currently in a 3G only area. Initially, we thought this might be affecting people that are in a 3G, 4G area, but it appears this is also affecting people that aren't, that don't even have 4G uh, in the area. So, very interesting. Stay tuned for future updates on our tech Twitter, as well as on EVDO Info or 4GInfo.com. Thank you.